Floyd Mayweather late night training, not taking Conor McGregor lightly. Stay tuned. Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. What's up? It's your man Floyd Money Mayweather, the Mayweather Challenge. You don't have to be rich, you don't have to be poor, just show the world your lifestyle. Right now, I'm riding in my custom Rolls Royce Phantom Limousine with the chinchilla carpet, the 44 millimeter, Patek Philippe, white gold. Uh, my lifestyle, the Mayweather Challenge. My man, Jenny on Love right here, a top prospect in boxing. The Mayweather Challenge to show your lifestyle. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, hit the subscribe button. If you want to become part of the notification gang, hit that bell icon. Now, the news heard around the world boxing meets MMA August 26th. It goes down, and that's Floyd Mayweather versus Conor McGregor. Now, some people are, are fake mad, some people like it, some people want to see the press conferences but either way this is the fight that's happening and you guys seen the clip Floyd Mayweather and let me just tell you what went down Floyd Mayweather he actually went to watch the the movie the all eyes on me he actually got to see a private screening a year and a half ago or a year ago and he went to go do the red carpet festivities for the actual movie release for everybody else in LA and after that at some point I don't know what he did after that but he already went to 10 Goose and Gym and you see he's about to work out and get that sparring in and like I said everybody that's ever been around this man that I've ever talked to me personally they all talk about that work ethic and it shows you know what I mean because the consensus is Conor McGregor is a massive underdog. I mean, most people that I've seen. But, I mean, to Conor's army's credit, there are a lot of people who are like, oh, Conor's army, 49-1. and one. If I don't know if they believe it or if it's wishful thinking, but there are people who are actually putting that. But even with the odds clearly in Floyd's favor, he's training late night. He went to a, a Hollywood movie premiere of a popular movie that's coming out all eyes on me i can't wait to see it I'm, I'm looking forward to it tupac's my favorite rapper just fyi but after that he's all dressed up suited and booted you guys seen the clip at the beginning where he was you know what i mean he's dressed sharp him and jay leon love and kitschy they go to the movie premiere and then after he goes to train i mean this dude just works like a madman age 40 AJ nothing but a number so I mean you got to give it up to Floyd for that because like I said he could clearly do like I've seen other fighters do where they feel invincible they're undefeated even like Broner Broner did it versus Madonna I mean he he admits that he, he was partying and he was on a rap tour he basically wasn't training for Madonna giving Madonna the proper respect that he deserved because if you knew Madonna Madonna gave Americon hell in those championship rounds almost knocked him out he beat victor ortiz in the submission made him quit in a fight where he got knocked down himself like three times got back up and beat ortiz in the submission when ortiz was being considered like the the canelo of the time he was the golden boy the golden boy successor right fought devin alexander so broner should have definitely been taking that fight camp serious so you got to give it to floyd for that because he could be fighting a 20 to 1 50 to 1 underdog or whatever conor mcgregor is but 
his work ethic doesn't change. And I can tell, I mean, I can't prove it, but I really feel like he's done some level of staying in shape for sure because he already looks close to the fight weight. And there's not too many fighters that are even doing that. I see fighters who have a fight, don't have a fight for like six, eight months, and they look in crazy shape and they don't look like the same fighter i mean even brandon reels brandon reels was supposed to fight kel brook see some of y'all ain't real diehard boxing fans so you don't remember that he's supposed to fight kel brook and the negotiation stretched they had some disagreements and eventually the fight fell apart they couldn't work a deal out and rio spent all that time on the sidelines then he came back his comeback fight was against timothy bradley he was on the sidelines for probably like eight months and he didn't look in good shape, and he ended up getting stopped by one of the division's lighter punchers, not the hard. I mean, Bradley's a hell of a fighter, but no one's on the power meter. No one's saying he's the biggest welterweight puncher. When you got Danny Garcia, Errol Spence, Keith Thurman, Kell Brook, and Tim Bradley was able to stop him by investing to that body. And this is all because Rios had like an eight or nine month layoff. And I'm not saying that's the only reason he won, but obviously, Teddy Atlas and Bradley took full advantage of um, bad training habits from Brandon Rios. Meanwhile, Floyd's been inactive for two years, retired or whatever you want to call it, and he's going in against a massive underdog. The day it's announced, he goes to a movie premiere and he's already training like a madman afterwards. I mean, it is what it is. Now, just, I don't know why there would be, but... Uh, maybe some people are late to the party. I got. I told you guys a couple of days ago that I had suspicions this fight was happening. I did a whole video. The people who subscribed, you probably seen it. But there's still some people out there who are still in denial <laughs> that this fight is happening. I don't know what else you need, but I'm gonna do it again. The fight is taking place at the T-Mobile Arena, which in that initial speculation video where I was telling you my findings about Mayweather having the date, Mayweather Promotions having the date. I said it would be at the MGM or MGM Properties, like the T-Mobile Arena, which is MGM Properties. A lot of people, they got this twisted, like, oh, why would the fight happen at the MGM? Or it doesn't make sense to happen there because the capacity and T-Mobile state, it's MGM Properties, right? It's an affiliate. It's just like Showtime Network. Sometimes they give big fights to their parent company, CBS. It's all under the same umbrella. You know what I mean? MGM has multiple properties. It's not just those two. You know what I mean? Multiple hotels. But anyway, T-Mobile Arena, 154 pounds, 10 ounce gloves. I don't think there's a rematch clause. I think this is a once and done. What else is there? I don't know who the referee or judges are going to be. I'm pretty sure the Nevada State Athletic Commission will handle that. And they're doing USADA testing. So there will be drug testing above and beyond regular Nevada state drug testing, USADA, right? And I don't know the exact salaries, but they're going to make a shit ton of money. Let me know what you guys think. Floyd Mayweather, late night training, per usual. He always does that. He's a night owl. But, I mean, I give it to him at age 40, coming off of retirement, and even though he's a massive favorite, he's not showing that with his, his training routine, you know what I'm saying? He's going to go out there and try to do what he always does. Let me know what you guys think. Are you giving Conor McGregor any shot? Drop it in the comment section. Make sure you share the video, like the video. As always, hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video, Ego Sunday. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing. Yeah.